Hello and welcome to Dating Delusions. I hope everyone's having another fantastic day on today's episode. And we'll get into modern women and they don't want boundaries. And uh, we're going to specifically talk about this Jonah Hill situation. If you don't know about it, we're going to get into it. Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill is calling him out for being narcissistic and misogynistic. This is a message thread between uh, Jonah and his partner. Go ahead and pause it if you need to read it. So yeah, let's pause it right here. And uh, I kept this guy's TikTok because he, he does a good breakdown. And of course, you know, the modern media, the mainstream media is uh, slamming him for, of course, the same words we hear all the damn time, narcissists and all this crap. So if you don't know the story, Jonah Hill, of course, is, you know, has been a very famous actor. Uh, he's kind of gotten the surfing. It looks like he's kind of like a surfer dude now, whatever, you know, you do you. He's worth $70 million, to be very clear. This is a high value man by any standard, okay? so. This is this normal surfer chick he started dating. This is from two years ago, by the way. He now has a child with another woman. So he writes, and I'll just read this. So he says, plain and simple, if you need surfing with men, boundaryless, inappropriate friendships with men, to model, to post picture of yourself in a bathing suit, to post sexual pictures, friendships with women who are unstable places from your wild recent past beyond getting lunch or something respectful, I'm not the right partner for you. Sir, that is completely fair. In addition, no one made her be with this man. No one, she, you know, it's not like she was forced to be with, you know, poor, poor, this poor woman having to be with this super rich guy who, you know, and he's just setting some boundaries. This is nothing wrong with this. I just can't even believe that this is even an issue. And of course she's now, they're, they're man shaming him. Oh, he's insecure. It's the same old, same old crap we, we talk about. And you know, I applaud this guy. I mean, matter of fact, I'm gonna go back and watch all of his movies. This, you know, absolutely, let's give him a round of applause. He even says, if those things bring you a place of happiness, I support it. Yeah, you. she's basically saying, you do you, lady. No one made her, you know, be with him. And I just can't believe this has turned into what it's turned into. So uh, this, this uh, brother continues. Uh, basically, he's giving her a list of boundaries. He says, I'm not, if I'm not the right partner for you, these things bring you to a place of happiness. I support it and there'll be no hard feelings if you want to leave. These are, my these are my boundaries for a romantic partnership. He says, my boundaries with you based on the ways that these actions have hurt our trust. So we can only see by that message that maybe there was something in the past. That yeah, so she probably did something he wasn't comfortable with. And again, she could have left at any time. No one made her stay with this man. I don't think they even lived together. They had no ties together. They weren't even married. And, and, and then she's coming kind of back going, of course, he, you know, the same old, same old cry. I'm sorry, I got fired up, everyone. I think I'm gonna do it right now. Red alert. All hands to battle stations. To sit there and here's a very high value man going, here's the, the rules I have for you to date me. She accepted those rules and then got mad about it later. This is absolute, just complete bullshit. And I'm, I'm gonna call this woman out on it and it's ridiculous. And we're gonna see a bunch of profiles then, you know, kind of relating this stuff, you know. And so many modern women are in chaos and they, they really, they don't want men who restrict their freedom in any way, shape, or form. They, they, they think independence is just, I can go do whatever I want, eat whatever I want. That's exactly, he put boundaries on her. So I'll continue. It happened, we don't know, and we can't speculate. The women of the internet are calling him a narcissist and misogynist. At this point, I don't think that the internet even knows what You gotta be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me misogynist and narcissism is they just throw that word around freely without consequence i will take this opportunity to ask however why is a man automatically assumed a narcissist or misogynist when he sets his boundaries and why are women often praised for saying what they want in a man and we call them empowered meanwhile men are criticized called manipulative narcissistic the moment they speak about the standards they have for women this video is for the men in the comments because i know i know the brain cells up here are are few and far between for the oh let me help you ma'am that's a huge bitch. Oh, please continue. Those brain cells that aren't brain selling. But you can't simply just blame women for running over men like this lately on the internet. Men don't speak up. And the reason why men don't speak up? Backlash. But you're not going to go around talking about men's rights because it's a bad look, right? It's it's all about women's rights. And like, nobody's going to take your side. or put. Yeah, and so, I mean, this is why uh, several channels and my channel, of course, are getting popular with men because obviously, you know, we, we've just, we've always been sitting back, just letting the ladies do whatever they want. That's, you know, I've talked about this. There's so many 
so many channels to slam on men and do that, you know, and have have their way with that. And so, you know, we, we need a space where we can talk about these things. And of course, it's just it's just absolutely ridiculous, to be honest, like to sit here and call him a narcissist in any way, shape or form when all he did is set simple boundaries. Now, I would say the only mistake he made is probably putting it in writing on his Facebook where she could screenshot it. I would say, you know, have a call over this and say, here's these things or, you know, something more private, you know, something where she can't then screenshot it and send it out. And I, I, I'm shocked he doesn't have some sort of NDA. I mean, you know, most famous people have an NDA. So what they say is uh, in private. But if anything, he, look, he looks great in this situation. She looks ridiculous. Again, he now has a child with someone else who's perfectly happy being with extremely rich man who gets to live a life of leisure and to sit here and complain about it. But uh, let's continue. Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill. And uh, this guy just puts a fine point out. I just want to show one more video and we'll get into the nonsense. So if I'm a single guy and I sleep around with women and then I get into a relationship but continue to sleep around with other women and then my girlfriend tells me that as a condition for continuing the relationship, I can't sleep with other women, does that make her controlling or is this just another double standard? Because I can just as easily say that sleeping around with women is just who I am. And if you try to control me or change me with your boundaries or conditions for a relationship, then you're just a misandrist and a narcissist. Good. Exactly. The absolute double standard here. Women want men who are faithful and things like that. Don't want to, you know, I'm sure they don't want them. You know, we've seen that all the time too. Ladies will be like, you know, you can't go on Instagram and look at, you know, bikini pics, but, you know, but then they'll post a bikini pic themselves. It's complete double standard. And this guy's calling it out. But let me guess, it's different, right? Yeah, just absolute facts. And, uh, you know, uh, gentlemen, there is nothing wrong at the beginning of a relationship saying, here's what I expect of you as a man. And I've said this before, um, you know, the modern woman doesn't want boundaries. They want, they want to be strong and independent, do what they want. And, you know, they have way more opportunity to be, uh, for infidelity than we do. You gotta be kidding me when they talk about, you know, men, I, you know, I had, I got an argument with another lady. She's like, you know, men cheat all this, you know, we ain't that, then, man, why are you even watching my channel? If you don't like guy, men or whatever, and you're going to say this stuff, you know, women have so much more opportunity. And then when we've set boundaries and, you know, we're being narcissists, I just hate that word. It's just overused. We already had that on the episode, you know, just recently, there are you know, only, only 7% of men are narcissists, 4% of women. Of course, we, we talked about histrionic personality disorders. Well, look back a few episodes if you're new to the channel, but we've got a ton of new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for joining. Let's get the nonsense. So on Dating Delusions, we always start with the great profile. This is the great profile of the day. And she's 41 and this woman is an absolute smoke show she's got you know she's got a graduate degree but this i mean she does not look her age and again i don't know what her situation is she is a single mom so you know that's again i did that gentleman i i show all kinds of women in the great profile you can decide you know what you like it or but she does it right she has great pictures you know i don't know what her situation is but she says what will be will be it's man it's a nice little sentiment nothing nothing fancy there but her pictures are fantastic. And again, there's plenty of men who will take the deal, even with her kid, because she's absolutely stunning and she doesn't have a bunch of crap in here and her profile is good. She continues. I mean, just here we go again. She's got her hair done. She's got a very large chest, by the way. I mean, she, it's kind of even, you don't can't even tell right here how big her chest is. Begin. So this lady, you know, got plenty of men hitting her up. Now, if we see her on the app in a couple years, I'll be saying, yeah, ma'am, you're being too picky or whatever. Now, we, we don't know that. I mean, gentlemen, there are ladies who come on the apps and, you know, aren't here forever. And then this lady should be snapped up pretty fast. She should, I'm sure she's a pick of men. She continues. I mean, here she is in bikini. You can see how big her chest is. Ma'am, you're, oh my God, this is beautiful. What a great picture this is. The mountains behind her, you know, and again, I don't know the situation where she on it with with a guy here or whatever, but you know, this is just what men want. She's fit, she's feminine, she's friendly. She comes all across, she's just very down to earth and very gorgeous. You know, she's got heels on. She's got, you know, the, some guys like the leather pants stuff. Not, not my favorite thing, but you know, this is just a beautiful woman. She, there's no requirements. And ladies, I'm not saying you can't have requirements. You just don't have to dump them all into your profile. Mammy, get a round of applause. You know, that's really the way to do it, ladies. I just don't know what to say. And, uh, you know, if you want to get a man, especially want a high value man, you've got to realize he's going to put boundaries in your behavior and you're going to have to have some discipline. But of course, that's not what they do. Let's go the nonsense. So I'm going to bring this particular uh, profile up and just uh, this is exactly what I'm talking about, how the double standard is. So she is 34 and says, if you have kids, I'm not interested. No nail biting, no smokers, no animals because they bring fleas and I get bites. Flosses their teeth, no bad breath. 
Likes road trips, doesn't get car sick. Phones need to be in silent mode when I'm sleeping too. I don't like men with chest hair. Shave it please, Christians only. Please have a nice place with no bugs. Speak English, no alien evolution believers. Snoring, don't follow a bunch of naked women on social media either. Ma'am, I found the perfect man for you. Yes, I'm a simp. But I wanna be very clear. See, here's a lady doing the exact same thing Jonah Hill did. Here's just a bunch of boundaries and requirements that she's like, here's oh, the way you can date me is all these things. You can't be on social media and these things. things. Is she a narcissist? No, it's just always you men. You men need to be better. It's just constant messaging that you guys get. We just get constantly dumped on that a guy who just sets a, a high value, you know, super rich guy going, here's what I expect of you to be my girlfriend. And it's just, oh my God, he's a complete narcissist. He's he's insecure. Well, tough, then don't date him. No one made you to. And just like this lady, that only kind of guy I was going to date her, of course it does. Beta! This kind of crap on here. You know, ma'am, you're not all that. But uh, again, ladies are allowed to do whatever they want. You men need to do this, this, and this, and this, you know, and it's just absolutely ridiculous. We continue. So she's 46 in sales and says, about me, 5'4 five, four divorce, no kids. Not interested in being a stepmom, religion, politics, or social media. Okay, sure, ma'am. I'm like, okay, fine. Again, here's more boundaries for this lady. She says, here's what I want. Fine. If you don't say what you think because you're scared to offend, move on. I have a light Russian accent and some Israeli chutzpah. Ma'am. <laughs> Oh, good for you. And she just seems real friendly, by the way. P.S. How to lose a girl in 10 seconds. Dazzle me with gems like, how's your week? How's your day going? Happy Tuesday. Any big plans for the weekend? And other polite, boring, out of my skull, PCBS. Ma'am, I have this for you. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? See, once again, they're allowed to do whatever they want. They come on here. I mean, look at this she's frowning at us. I mean, she is attractive. So there's, of course, going to be guys who swipe on her just because she's attractive. But, you know, ladies, we don't have to be so exciting off the bat. It's, you know, it's, I've said this joke before, you know, I will whisk you up to the tundra of the Antarctic. That doesn't mean to be our first message to you. Saying happy Tuesday when it's a Tuesday is not a bad thing. See, so you ladies get mad when guys go right to bedroom front, but then you get mad when a guy isn't so exciting. Not every man is going to be so charismatic and exciting, but you all crave the same type of dude. And see, here, let's take a step back. You can't keep men like that, ladies. I'm going to say for the most of you, if I, I, here's a high value guy like Jonah Hill, who is rich, who is the top, you know, past 1%. And he gave you rules and boundaries. Oh, I, oh he's a narcissist. I don't like that guy. Yeah, tough shit, ma'am. <laughs> I'm going to already send you on your way. That's why you will die alone. Die alone. Let me continue. So she's 57 and says, not looking for one nice stand, would love to find a lifetime partner or, uh, and a soulmate. Mm. Ma'am, it's also this. Ma'am, you're 57 years old. The time for soulmates are over. I mean, this, I don't know what these ladies think. Just They just have no concept of time. See, I mean, you you could have found that guy, but probably, you know, he, you, you know, you see this all the time, strong and independent, they because they don't want men to they, they feel conquered by a man. And so men put boundaries and rules in their behavior, by doesn't like it, and she's kind of overweight, whatever, and then, then, then you should, this is her next picture. I'm just me. I'm not perfect, I'm, I'm me. I've made bad decisions and wrong choices, but I'm me. I've said the wrong things, but I've said the right things because I'm me. I don't like everything I've done, but I did it because I'm me. I've loved the wrong people and trusted the wrong people, and I'm still me. If I had a chance to start again, I wouldn't change a thing. Why? Because I'm me. There are a lot of good things about me. You just need to look past the imperfections to see what's right. If you can't do that, it's your loss. I'm the best I can be. I am me. And ma'am, I have this for you. See, ladies, the strong and independent stick is over when you're getting into the danger zone. She's past this. Into the danger zone. So she's 57 years old going, so I want a soulmate. Man, that they're not going to probably get a soulmate anymore when you're in your damn 50s. That's it for gentlemen, too. I mean, you just, it, it, they're, they live in their Disney fantasies. But see, again, they don't want boundaries and rules in their behavior. They want to do whatever they want, eat what they want, sit there and mope around. Man, it's just such sappy crap. Really stop watching, you know, stop watching the Disney movies and Lifetime shows and, you know, because men are just men. 
And I, just so many ladies, really, especially modern women, they just don't even like who men are. They want to basically, again, they want giga chat and a woman's body We continue. So she's 51 and a medical assistant and says about me, 5'9", but you need to be six feet tall. I mean, 51 years old still with her height requirement. Of course, of course, ma'am, please continue. She's got, an, she's just, this is just absolutely insane. I've got an eight year old going full time. So she had a kid at 43, which is extremely dangerous. <laughs> oh, hell no. Sure, ma'am. Then she says three horses, four cats, one dog, and nine chickens. Do you understand the joy of having 1,000 cats? This cat keeper has experienced it. This grandmother changed a mansion of 1,800 square feet just to get. Sure, ma'am. So again, look at the chaos this lady's life is. So she's got a, she's a single mom. Well past this. With an eight-year-old kid, so she had a kid at 43. Ma'am, what happened to the baby daddy? I mean, you you, with, you had a guy knock you up in your damn 40s. I mean, I, this is it's so dumb in the first place. And then she's got all these damn animals. I mean, what's in it for the man to deal with all this crap? And then she's going to continue with nonsense. The guy, of course, the guy also has over six feet tall. I mean, what a deal. She continues. I'm political, but not politically correct. If you use pronouns to decide sex, we won't get along. Oh, sure, ma'am. Okay, fair enough. I'm healthy. I eat clean and work hard. Honest and loyal. Ma'am, how the hell do we know that? Most people who say they're honest aren't honest. <laughs> not the cap. She continues. I'm an outdoorsy prepper that can still look good on your arm. Sure, ma'am, she is skinny and attractive still, but I mean, again, ma'am, it just it has to be a good deal for men. I started as friends before anything romantic, so if you like to skip to the end, swipe left. <laughs> or, here's another idea that's going to be very controversial. You could <laughs> shut the f*** up. <laughs> so let me get this straight. All right, so this lady, she's in damn 51 years old. She's got a bunch of damn animals on the farm, what a farm or where the fuck it is, okay? And then has she, you have to be over six feet tall. She has a kid, so you have to raise her kid as a stepdad, and then you have to wait for bedroom fun. <laughs> You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious. <laughs> and then she says, if you're smart, honest, and communicate well, if we match, more questions will come. Ma'am, I have this for you. Yeah, it's never going to happen, ma'am. No man is going to take this deal. Absolutely not. I mean, I, I even beta simp guy who's just desperate. I can't even imagine who would ever want to deal with this. I mean, I, she is attractive. But to swim through all this crap and her kid and then it, she's in her damn 50s still going guy has to be six feet tall and wait for fun i mean just i mean she's ma'am you're this the bitch is crazy <laughs> we continue i think it's interesting that so many so much fuss happens for men talking about women when women have been talking about men for 50 years daytime tv magazines movies uh everything else and it's like wait a minute 50 years women have been talking about their problems with men, but for a couple of years, men on YouTube have been talking about something and you're acting like, well, why do they keep doing it? Shut the French toast up and understand that they're doing it because there's a problem. Because the men who are marrying age are not seeing women worth marrying. In a straw poll I did, I asked, what percentage, gentlemen, what percentage do you feel like that there, there's enough women, uh, are, are suitable women to, to wife. 65% of men said no. And whether you like the way they said or don't like the way they said, at the end of the day, it's like, do I want to bring this person? Do I want to try to get with this person and try to make a life? Do I want to get with this person and try to make offspring? Or is this person going to be so unruly to where any life with them is going to be chaos? And I would say now, I don't know, obviously, Jonah Hill or his ex-girlfriend, but I, you know, my theory and I have is that she saw that she was with another woman and she got mad about it. She got jealous. And so she came out and of course, she's going to now put this story out because again, this was two years ago. She waited, sat on it for two years. And now all of a sudden he's a terrible person, all that stuff. Yeah. Again, I salute that man. 
and uh, I, I've always I always liked him as an actor anyway, and now just uh, absolutely, you know, and he's standing up to it too. I mean, I hope he doesn't make some sort of apology and be like, I did something wrong. Nothing he did wrong. He did not put it out in the public, or but uh, yeah, and the Godfather speaks. Of, of course, Godfather always speaks facts. That you know, men control the relationship market, gentlemen. You know, you don't need to deal with all that chaos. If someone's got a bunch of chaos in their life, and you're you've got a nice peaceful life why deal with it i mean you just that last profile i mean absolutely out of her damn mind she thinks she can have requirements in the man her whole profile should have been like i am an amazing cook I, 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 in spite all this crap that i have going on you, you you take the deal because of these reasons but no these ladies get in here they just they have living chaos they don't want boundaries on behavior and they think a man's gonna take the deal well we're not so many men are pulling out of the marriage market and this is exactly why they still think they have some sort of leverage especially as they get older they don't and we continue so she's 42 and says about me honestly i don't know why i'm on here again maybe i'm bored and miss swiping i like to think i'm a gym rat but lately i just enjoy coming home after work listening to music and eventually pouring myself a drink i'm kind of picky and love to do things at a drop of a hat however i'm a planner figure that one out Ma'am, I have this for you. Your kids are soft. You lack like discipline. But I've got news for you. You are mine now. You belong to me. Ma'am, what the hell are you even talking about here? I mean, she's literally like, ma'am, this isn't your own Facebook. I mean, she's literally saying I'm bored and miss swiping, but I'm a gym rat, but I'm not actually a gym rat. I mean, <laughs> and then... And then you see her up here, she's just lazy, sitting around thinking, no makeup on, no effort, and then thinks men are gonna swipe on this crap. And she's a single mom in here. Into the danger zone. And this is what I'm trying to say, not all women live in chaos, they do. And they need boundaries, they need structure. That's why they need men. See, all you ladies who think you're so, it, does this scream strong and independent? I'm curious. I bet this lady tells, talks to her friends about herself and goes, I'm strong and independent because I'm raising a kid. And then this is what she writes in here. Yeah, ma'am, you need you need a man in your life, but they don't see it this way. And she, you see, she uh, she drinks most nights. You know, I'm glad she already has her cat. She smokes weed, so she probably sits around. You know, of course, I don't have a full body picture of her, but I, if I was a betting man, she does. That's a huge bitch. We continue. So she's 51 and she's a government worker, and again, this 51 year old woman. I want to be very clear about the age of this person. And then she says about me, just looking to enjoy the second half of my life. Love a great kisser. Okay, sure, ma'am. Generally attracted to younger, be big dick energy. You must be at least seven inches and thick to ride this ride. BBW, Pog with Fupa. Ma'am, I have this for you. And then I have this for you. Ma'am, you've got to be kidding me with this. So again, she so she wants younger Chad to, with a, with her you know big thing down there to deal with that she's a massive woman, and it's just, and again, what is in it for the man? To, why would he do it? Of course, these guys. I mean, yeah, they're I guess they're gonna pump and dump her, but I mean, and then this lady's probably also telling people she's strong and independent, and then just and looking to enjoy the second half of life. Sure, ma'am. I mean. <laughs> It's just, and then she, but she'll write it right here. She says, let's meet for drinks and make some bad decisions. Yup, man, I mean, you're proving everything I was saying. Looking to date, verify profiles, but plus chemistry is a you must. Quality over quantity, you host. <laughs> oh my God. Hang on. <laughs> Red flag. Stop. Maybe you're just a bunch of red flags and also you have, so we have to host and then you get quality over quantity. I don't even believe you, ma'am. You're literally saying you want a guy with a big thing and then he's to deal with that. You're massively overweight, meat for drinks, ma'am. You're riding the carousel. I mean, it's as clear as day you're riding the carousel. And then you're like, I, 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 it's this too. Not the cow. Yeah. Oh God, but she's not done. She continues. <laughs> that's just perfect first date. A beach sunset over drinks, looking for tasteless friendship that's sexually rewarding. Ma'am, all you're talking about is bedroom fun. It's this too. Oh no, here's the no, Gentlemen, the juice is not worth the squeeze. I mean, this lady, and again, so out of control, completely unself aware. 
talking about bedroom from them talking about that she wants someone of quality ma'am women of quality are fit women of quality don't talk about a man's thing size can you let's flip it around for a second gentlemen take a step back gentlemen if we it's one of us had a profile talking about the tightness of a woman's thing down there or that you know she's good at giving you know fellatio or something like that how gross would that be and right in their dating profile again i'm not talking you know you haven't met you haven't just this, this is stuff you don't talk about in your profile ma'am it's trashy and then she continues she then says a pro and con dating me and you can decide i mean you can see her right there i mean that's a huge bitch a really fun pro a really fun person sure ma'am i mean yeah you ride the carousel i'm sure you are ma'am con really only available on weekends not here for pick exchange so she's still raising young kids i'm gonna guess so she's got kids at home in talking about bedroom fun all over her profile she can't control her own diet and then big gal must love uh, mu mu big gal must love will video chat i'm 100 percent all real i'm sure you are ma'am i mean you definitely are 100 percent of something <laughs> <laughs> it's just and then again and th these ladies think they don't need boundaries and you know, she'd probably call a guy who said hey you need to watch your diet and exercise you know i'm the i'm saying we've said that the the, the, the I've said it so many times that I can keep saying for the algorithm, but uh, you know what they keep calling Jonah Hill. It's just absolutely ridiculous. That word is just so overused by women, starting with an R, and it's just, oh God, it's just this. It's <laughs> women. We continue. So she's 59 and says, I am who I am. I be who I was supposed to be. <laughs> Are you threatening me? Big heart, big mind. Enjoying my life now that I accomplished what I feel I was supposed to do. Supposed to. Heart, what you see, no more, no less. Man, what the hell are you even getting at again? Maybe you're almost 60 years old. What is this nonsense? <laughs> nope. Now, she continues. Again, this is a 60 year old woman. And this is how she's trying to attract a man, sticking her tongue out at us like just completely like a wild animal. You gotta grow up. I, this is what <clears throat> modern media is doing these ladies they think they can act however they want and still men because they confuse the swipes they get for bedroom fun with men who would ever give them a relationship no self-respecting man would read this crap and see a woman like this and deal with any of her crap it is absolutely this you can't be serious man you cannot be serious she continues she then says, you can't scare me. I have a crazy daughter and she has anger issues and a serious dislike for stupid people and I'm not afraid to use her and ma'am, I have this for you. Ladies, most men are quite good men actually. The majority of men are good men. <clears throat> They're not all super exciting. They're not all the men you swipe on. They're not all chads. They're not all the guys you give bedroom fun to, but they're good men. You living in your trauma and drama, putting it on the next man is so disgusting to sit here and put this on your dating profile. Again, this is not someone, these are not people you know. You're putting this into your dating profile, the guys who have no clue who you are, who've never met you, and it's just absolutely insane, and I'm gonna send her on her way. We continue. So she is 43 and I mean, look at this outfit. <laughs> Please, this purse. Nothing to see here. I mean, so, so she's got a bustier with her boobs sticking out and then read what she writes about me. Not looking for drama. <laughs> Stop the cap. I don't believe you, ma'am. I'm an honest person looking for the same. Sure, ma'am. I enjoy riding my horses. Yep, that's definitely this. Red flag. Stop. Being outdoors, enjoying great company. I work in EMS. Okay. So I definitely do not put up with, with bullshit. What does that have to do with that, ma'am? <laughs> the bitch is crazy. That has nothing to do with that, ma'am. What, what is working in EMS now doing, putting a bullshit? I mean, ma'am, also, do, do you think maybe how you're presenting yourself kind of gets you a certain type of man who's going to swipe in your profile? I mean, is there, again, no personal responsibility whatsoever. I'm looking for someone to hang out with, a friend who maybe more depending on the connection. Sure, ma'am, I mean, <laughs> the connection, ma'am, the only kind of guys you can swipe on you for bedroom fun. You're in a damn bustier. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to tell you. 
I'm just, I'm not here just to find someone to, to F. I want something more than that. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Ladies, do, do I need to bring a mirror over to your house too, ma'am? I mean, she's a single mom. She needs our resources. She's well past this. The ball, the ball, the ball. In college, and then she's like in a bustier laying on a bed going, I don't want to just F. I mean, this is troll. You have to be trolling us, ma'am. And see, this, and this woman would probably be like, you know, don't put boundaries. I'm strong and independent. Yeah, ma'am, you need boundaries. Again, you need a man. All you ladies at today's show absolutely need a man in your life. You need some structure and discipline, but you don't think that that way because you've been told you're all goddesses, tens, and queens. We continue. So... You know, I researched this episode. I, you know, I have obviously did insane amounts of goofy uh, profiles to go over, but uh, this just seemed appropriate for day. And this is another woman who absolutely needs some boundaries in her life and just sits there and her whole profile is just terrible. Let's get into it. So she's 25 and you can see up here, she's having a good old time riding the carousel, doing our you know, party in here. And she says, neuroscientist from London, it's probably this. Stop the cow. Cause I mean, 25 neuroscientists. Okay, sure, ma'am. Maybe she's, I don't know, no idea. But then, these were her only two other pictures. So here she is partying, and then these are her next picture. So she, here she is making out with Chad, and then she's like, quickest way to my heart <coughs> is good food and good drinks. So again, women can basically be, you know, making out with a dude on their dating profile, and then we still have to provide them to do things for them. And then we're the, we're the nurse. I'm not going to say the word again because the, the damn YouTube algorithm, but yeah, we're, we're the, we're the problem here. I mean, in the same token, gentlemen, you know, I've said this before, although, you know, women do want men who actually can get women, but sitting there making out with a woman on your profile I would never tell you never do that too, but she still gets swipes from these kind of guys, of course. Beta. Now she continues. And her next picture, she's got a guy riding on her shoulder. She's got another Chad, young Chad riding her shoulder. And says, I'm known for putting people on my shoulders on a night out. And then just, you, you gotta love the man shaming that they do on us. Like we're the problem. I mean, again, ma'am, just your whole profile is you with other men going, you want men's resources. And then you just, I just can't make it up. I mean, it's this. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Anyway, uh, I will end it there for today. Thank you again for watching another episode of Dane Delusions. I really do appreciate all our subscribers. And thanks for all the re new recent subscribers. We've had a, several uh, videos hit the algorithm recently, and I uh, really do appreciate it. If uh, you did like the content, give it a like. If you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It's free to do. It helps me out. Go ahead and check out the membership page too. You get a lot of new content and free episodes uh, if you're a member. And then I will see you on the next episode. Have a great day. Peace.